I guess. Let's go this way. Y'all see this strange looking yellow huge piece of machinery over here. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a forklift. I don't think they're about to work on it or anything like that. In fact, I don't think anybody in here could operate this. I don't you got to have some kind of license to operate this thing. Like, if I get under the wheel of this, all them handles, I'm liable to crash into something. Man, forklifts have changed over the... Back in the day, there was uh, some was gas. Uh, some is electric. I don't know which one helped produce the most amount of power because this is a lot of work this thing doing. Yes, guys, all of these mean something. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they have the, what they do on their perspective handle, but I couldn't comprehend it. I wouldn't even. Uh... Okay, that's a level to even close. Cool. Yes, uh, from my understanding, you got to have a special license to operate this forklift operator license. All right, so that leaves one Mr. JT out of the equation. So you get the setup here. You've got rear view mirrors, guys. It's pretty neat. All right, uh, but it's just I'm not qualified. So not qualified. So. Forklift, what's the, what's going on right here? It's a Dodge Charger. Hey, this guy got two chargers in his stall. Let's see, one is a Pentastar and one is a Hemi. So if y'all had your choice, which one would y'all take? Likely, the average guy would jump on the Hemi Charger. Simply because it has more power, more torque, more this, more that. Okay, uh, I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. He ain't got nothing to part. What is this, a cold air intake? Uh, guys, let me tell y'all something. We're going to go over there to that Ren uh, Renegade in a minute. It's a cold air intake on that car, I want to say. I think that's what it is. But uh, I really don't see much advantage. Anybody that has one of these on their car or have the setup on their car, what advantage are you getting from it? Okay, that's that's my only question. I, now, I've read on some of the advantages you can get from it, but are you really... In other words, is it worth it? Okay, now I'm not trying to knock anybody. You know, everybody have goals they want to do with their car. Like, everybody's out there chasing more speed, more horsepower. So, did this accomplish that feat? This customer here, if he put this on, was his goal to gain more speed or gain more acceleration? Or, again, I've read of what it can do, but I want to know here from somebody that actually install some of the mod change some of the changes you've done to your uh, factory uh, Pentastar engine and what changes have what you've done made okay so yeah I don't want to read anymore about what it do I want to know if it's doing what it says it does in other words people that have installed it haven't made any changes now let's go to this charger this one is equipped with you guessed it the big boy Five seven. All right. A lot of people do changes. I've seen the the intake, co uh, the yeah, the intake system on these. I, again, I want to know. This one don't have one, but I want to know. I've seen guys install catch cans on a simple five seven uh, Hemi engine. Number one, it looks good. It looks cute. It's pretty. Uh, is it really or when you how often do you have to drain it? in other words was it needed or did you just want uh, a pretty little part on your car I went to the car show the other day I saw uh, some some guys with a uh, souped up Hemi engines that really uh, they we spoke I spoke to them about it. in fact I recorded some of them I'm gonna try to upload some of that stuff later but uh, you know I was acting like I didn't know nothing acting done. Hey, excuse me. Why do you have a catch can on here? You know, just to get their real reaction. Some guys, they'll, they'll talk to you differently if they know you know you are mechanically inclined. So, But I did have a mechanic shirt on. But I wanted to make sure I sound as unknowledgeable as, as possible. All right. Enough of this Hemi talk. Let's go back to used car. Hey, he's still back here, guys. Uh, Y'all remember the hybrid recall? gonna do a recall on this in fact here's the parts right here guys so he got to set up all that uh tom 
What y'all know about this? You got to set up all that uh, safety, you know, the cones and stuff. The recall specifically have him installing this battery harness, look like. Yeah, because it's look like it's going to end up on a battery right here. But And from my understanding, it pays 3.9 hours, which means <coughs> it's hard. <laughs> Anything that pays over three hours with a uh, Chrysler or FCA, uh, it's bound to be super hard. It can't be easy or they wouldn't pay you three hours. Okay, so I hope I'm around when he uh, get ready to do it. Uh, hopefully that fixed the problem. This, this, remember, this was the one I was saying. Uh, he think he gonna need a whole complete battery. Uh, you can't be doing all of that until you do what FCA tell you to do first. In other words, in other words, they're not gonna send a battery if they see an open recall on it. All right. So yes, the uh, recall is gonna be done. Ram, a hey, turbo diesel coming twenty five hundred. The big boy. Now I just know good and well that nobody just trade this in. Surely this look fairly new. I don't know why this in the used car department. <sighs> I couldn't tell you guys. I don't see no writing on the windshield, so I don't think it was traded in, but uh there is, however, let's see how many miles on it. Is that 40? Yeah, 40,000 miles. So, uh oh. I see keys. I see a yellow thing on the key. That means it was a trade in. Mm. Oh, buddy. Who would do such a thing? What did they get? I think something's supposed to be on there. So, uh, I want to take a look at all this hybrid stuff. Well, yeah. Uh, you got to put it back in the air and put the cones up. Yeah. Uh, do y'all know, and I'm going to cover this on a later video. Uh, it's 3.6 Pentastar hybrid engine was number one again for the fourth year in a row. Now, I don't want to say the wrong thing, so I'm going to wait till I get all my facts and uh, read up on it. But yes, guys, this is a Gen 3, uh, the Pentastar. And uh, it is number one again. I can't even remember the category. I just saw it on a, a biscuit, motor biscuit, biscuit motor or something like that. And I got to read that article because I want to discuss it with you guys. All right. Now, I'm no big fan of the hybrid. Uh, I'm a gasoline combustion all the way around. I'm no electric. I, I'm a traditional guy, guys. So, but yes, this won the award once again. Okay, so it's obviously they obviously did some right. Pentastar finally got it right. Okay, and my take on it is they did it when they changed the valve train assembly. All right, so but like I said, we're gonna discuss that, guys. Right, that is something to talk about. Yee yeah, for FCA. All right, uh, I guess he'll do this recall tomorrow. Like I said, I hope I'm around because uh, we're gonna discuss it, guys. I think that's about it, man. Nosey Hour wasn't that.